a very I'm not going to give you any almost impossible any now. any history. Uh oh, that's bad. <laughs> Voila, a pitcher speaks oh. multi thousands of words. That's oh the sharpest my. tip I've ever seen. Oh, look at that. That's not real. That's a Photoshop. I think that's just a, a piece of her cartilage left from her one surgery, and if that thing is about to pop out through the skin. Bring Holly in. Can you please send in Holly? Holly. Holly, hey, nice to meet you, nice Dr. To Nessa. Meet you. When people look at me, the first thing I think is they're looking at my nose and what do they think? Like, do they think I'm a freak? I mean, I can be weird, but I'm not a freak. Yeah. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet uh, you guys. Where are you guys from? Houston, Houston. Texas. I think we Houston. have a problem. Yeah, my nose. You're... <laughs> <laughs> Houston, Houston, we have, definitely have a problem. <laughs> so what happened? So when I was five or six, I broke my nose. And once I hit my 30s, I got engaged, had surgery. How long ago was this, yeah, roughly? This was five years ago. And I guess when the doctor came out of surgery, he's like, oh, the surgery went great. He's like, I pulverized her nose. Pulverized? Pulverized <laughs> means to destroy. Bottom of the list of things you want to hear postoperatively. Huh. Is it just me, or is pulverize a bad thing to say postoperatively? And this guy's a real plastic surgeon for yeah, sure, right? Yeah, double board certified, like uh, ENT and... Whoa. Facial. So, yeah. So he has my training. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so now the cast comes off, and then what happened? I remember seeing her after her surgery, and her nose looked amazing. And the next time I saw her, I was like, oh, it looks a little different. And then, you know, just kept getting sharper and pointier at the end, like a ski slope. Were you married at that time or what? I got married well after because my nose started changing so much. Finally, I was like, we were engaged five years and I was like, it's time to get married. So, so you delayed getting married because of the way your nose looked. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it looks like my nose got slammed in a door and then it just stayed that way. Yeah, this is called shrink wrappage. Mm -hmm. Basically, it refers to the skin on the nose healing tightly around the existing anatomy, the cartilage. In Holly's case, and if this continues to go on in the next few months, you never know. The actual tip cartilage can pop through the skin, break through the skin, and then there's always the risk of her losing her entire tip cartilage. Now, I assume you went back to that doctor when you noticed yeah. this. No. No? He messed up my nose so bad. Like, why would I go back to this person? I'm sure you have a list of things you want fixed. Just to kind of have a straight nose, being able to breathe, and kind of just like a normal looking tip, if that's possible. You know, I do, I do have to say, I mean, I'm worried about your nose. When Dr. Dubrow and I looked at your photos, we said, what, what the hell happened? happened? When we see a nose like yours, we usually think that maybe you had seven or eight surgeries. Yeah. yeah. That you, would make sense. You're at that point where you have a completely overdone nose. Never, 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 never ever, ever. seen a nose look like yours after one surgery. Ever. That pointed. We would love to do anything we can to help you. But when it comes to a nose like yours, it's hard. Yeah. Mm.